Hello and welcome to this video series highlighting new features in Talon Studio 6.2. In this presentation, we'll illustrate how easy it is to use the new DynamoDB components on Spark to write and read data from a DynamoDB database. In this example, the data is a list of movie directors. Before we begin, you can see here how this sample project is set up, so you'll want to set yours up similarly. Now start by creating a Spark Big Data Batch job to write your data to DynamoDB. In the designer, tDynamoDB output and tDynamoDB input write and read data from DynamoDB. tDynamoDB configuration provides the Dynamo connection configuration to Spark, and tHDFS configuration normally connects to the remote HDFS system, but we'll deactivate it because in this scenario, you're using Spark local mode so you don't need the remote HDFS system. Double-click tDynamoDB configuration to open it in component view, and configure it so Spark can connect to DynamoDB. Back in the designer, in tfix flow input, enter your movie director data, their names, and the ID numbers assigned to them. Then click Edit Schema to configure the component schema and click OK. Link tfix flow input to tDynamoDB output with a main row. And in the component view for tDynamoDB output, select tDynamoDB configuration to use the configuration you just set up. Then click Edit Schema to verify tDynamoDB output retrieve the schema from tfix flow input. It will be used as the schema for the DynamoDB table. In the table name field, Enter the name of the table where the sample data should be written. This table must have been created within DynamoDB itself. Next, configure tDynamoDB input to read the data from the director table. This means selecting the tDynamoDB configuration component for the connection and defining the schema according to the data schema of the director table. Now link it to tlog row with a main row. In T log row, select table mode to print the output of tDynamoDB input in a table and enter director in the table name field. Then link the two jobs using on subjob OK. In the Spark configuration tab, verify that local mode is selected and leave the other parameters as they are. Now run the job. Here in the console, you can read the data that's been written to DynamoDB. Now create a Spark Big Data streaming job to join the director data with some movie data on the fly. Configure tDynamoDB configuration and deactivate tHDFS configuration. In tfix flow input, enter your movie data and define its schema. In the input repetition interval field, enter 5000. This way, tfix flow input will send the same data every 5 seconds to fake a data stream. In tDynamoDB lookup input, select the Dynamo connection and enter the name of the table to be used. Then define the schema accordingly. Then enter the query to select the records used to match the director ID column from the main flow. In the value mapping table, map the director ID column to a placeholder recognized by DynamoDB, then use this placeholder to compose the query. In tmap, Define the join key by moving director ID from main flow to the ID column of the lookup flow. Define the lookup model and the join model. Activate catch lookup inner join reject for the reject flow and click OK to accept these changes. Tmap produces two flows, one named out1 used to write the result of the join to tlog row and the other named reject used to write the data rejected by the join to the console. In the Spark Configuration tab, select Use Local Mode, and in the Batch Size field, enter 5000 so every 5 seconds, an RDD is produced containing new records from tfix flow input. Now run the job. After enough time, kill it or it'll run indefinitely. You can see that one movie record has been rejected with a null director name but the four other movie records have been output to tlog row 2 with their director names. Both of the tables are the result of the join operation performed on a Spark batch. 
Thanks to these new DynamoDB components, you can now design Spark applications for DynamoDB in Talon Studio. Please check out the other new feature videos in this series, as well as Talon.com and our community site for more technical information. Thanks for watching.